everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today, in honor of Pride Month, I'm going to be doing the L LGBTQIA book tag. I will probably substitute queer for a lot of those letters when asking the, in the questions just because I find it a lot easier to say. It's a personal preference. I do not mean to offend anyone. I am sorry if it does. I just find it a bit more inclusive, even though I know the letters actually stand for things. Um, question one is how do you identify? So I've mentioned in a few videos I identify as asexual. Um, if you want to know the full whatever, it's agendered, pan-romantic, asexual. So what I mean by agendered is I don't really feel male or female. Like I dress pretty feminine but that's just because it's the clothes that fit my body style. And whatever is comfortable, I'll wear it, so I don't really care if it's men or women's clothes, anything like that. Um, pan-romantic, I just, it's like pansexual, but it's just towards the romantic feelings. I don't care about the gender when it comes to romantic feelings, just how, just who they are as a person, their personality. And then asexual, I just don't really have sexual feelings. I don't really experience them. I mean, I do to a degree, but... Um, I don't really want to experience sexual intimacy with other people, which is why I classify myself as asexual. I hope that made sense. I will link an asexual website that helped me out a lot down below if you have any questions or just want to kind of find out more. It's a really awesome resource. Now I'm going to be doing one of these questions out of order because because Jess from Cup of Books added a question to the tag when I'm guessing a while ago when it was first created so it doesn't really fit if I do it last so I'm just gonna do it now. So it is technically question number five. When was the first time you encountered a queer character in fiction? Um, I think the first time I could ever like really th recall to mind like realizing that they were a queer character was in the Poison Study series by Maria V. Schneider, the commander of one of the countries, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head right now, um, is actually a woman who felt like she was a man. And so he presents himself as a male and goes by male pronouns to everyone who knows him. Um, there's actually only Yelena, the main character, ends up being one. I think Yelena and Valak are the only two in the series that I know of that know that the commander was born a woman or female. But I, I also read a lot of fan fiction at that time, so it's kind of hard to say. That is the first time I saw a queer character in a published setting. I guess I'll go with that. Question number two are, um, who are some of your favorite queer authors? Now. I don't believe any of these are actually own voices queer, which I'm trying to be a lot better about reading, um, but I haven't really found ones that I absolutely have fallen in love with. I know a lot of people love Adam Silvera, there's David Levithan, I haven't really read either of them, but I know I've heard really awesome things about them. My personal favorites, I've talked about them a lot on this channel so this won't come a surprise to anyone, but Lynn Fwalling. She did the Night Runner series. Um, there's Mercedes Lackey who did the Last Herald Mage series. And I've heard a lot of her other series has queer characters as well. I just haven't read a lot of her other ones yet. And then those are both fantasy. And then Abigail Rowe did my favorite mystery series, um, Cut and Run. Those are also amazing. Question number three is how often do you talk about queer content on your channel? I read right now at least almost exclusively queer books, so it's almost every book you can probably guess that it's got some kind of queer representation into it. Not to say that I don't read like straight or heterosexual fiction, it's just I've been trying to expand the diversity that I read, so I'm trying to read more own voices like I said, I'm trying to read a lot more um, POC queer from POC queer authors and characters. So almost almost any TBR I've done, any readathon I've done, a lot of them are pretty queer focused. 
Question number four is, um, who are your favorite queer or LGBTQIA booktubers? This is going to be my longest by far answer just because I want to bring light to all these amazing people. So Matthew Schrappa, which if you haven't watched, if you watch anything on my channel, I mention him all the time. Adriana over at Perpetual Pages, CC over at Problems of a Book Nerd, Chris over at, I think it's either Chris Vigilante or Vigilante Reads, and I'll link them all down below so you can find them, Alyssa from Pups, Pucks and Paperbacks, Danica from Lesbury, and I just found another one. There's Russell from the Ink and Paper blog, and then there's another one. Oh, I can't remember her first name, but her channel is called Winks and Ink. So I will definitely link her down below. She talks a lot about um, queer books, but she's also a really big fantasy reader. But she also talks a lot about chronic pain and dealing with that. So she's kind of diverges a little bit and a really great, awesome booktuber. The last question, number six, is is there anything you want to add? And I guess I'm going to add a question. Basically, is there any other queer content you would like to recommend? And I definitely want to recommend this movie I just recently watched called Devs. It is very much like a 90s cliche, camp, whatever, whatever word you want to use for it. Um, it's just super, really freaking adorable. It's about these girls who go to this school to become spies and one of the girls gets kidnapped by the main villain who is, well at least we meet her for the first time going out on a date with another villain. I don't know if she identifies as les a lesbian or bisexual, but it is just very, it's so adorable. I would highly recommend it. It is just super freaking cute. And is there anyone I want to tag? Um, I know Vance hasn't done this, so if you have, if you want to do this, I tag you. And if you just want to answer some of the questions in the comments down below, I would love to hear some of your guys' answers. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now!